and welcome to my channel pregnancy info i am going to start a new series of month by month pregnancy so i just want to clear the little and even a uh, minor thing about pregnancy to so just start with the reproductive organs like uterus Did you know what is uterus it's the medical term for the womb it is a latin word for womb it is about the size and shape of an inverted pear the uterus side quite low in the abdomen and is held in position by muscles ligaments and fibrous tissues its shape is a peel like muscular organ which is seen to be inverted its position is like that is located between the bladder and the rectum between the pelvic of a female it has the size of about six to eight centimeter in length and two to three centimeter in width the uterus has four parts we will describe all the parts in this video in detail the first one is fundus fundus is the broad curved upper area in which the floppin tubes connect to the uterus the body the main part of the uterus starts directly below the level of the floppin tubes and continues the lower narrow neck region and the lowest section the cervix cervix ends downward from the isthmus until it opens into the vagina the uterine cavity open into the vagina cavity and the two make up what is commonly known as the birth canal we will discuss the internal anatomy of the uterus here as it is divided or it is consists of three layers one is the inner layer called the endometrium it is most active layer and respond to cyclic ovarian hormone changes the endometrium is highly specialized and is essential to menstruation and reproductive functions the second one is the middle layer or myometrium makes up most of the uterine volume and is muscular layer composed primarily of smooth muscle cells the third one is the outer layer of the uterus the serosa or perimetrium it is a thin layer of tissue made of epithelial cells that envelop the uterus endometrium is further divided into deep statum basils and superficial stratum functionalis the function of uterus will be explained there its function to nourish and house a fertilized egg until the fetus or offspring is ready to be delivered and it also controls the maturation cycle under the observation of estrogen and progesterone hormones hope you have understand what is uterus and you will be able to understand what i will discuss further like fallopian tubes and ovary and then we will start the series of month by month pregnancy with you so if you like the video, then share it and also subscribe my channel. Thank you.